Hello and welcome to this week's Productivity Enhancer. Today we're going to take a look at the Auto Trace function. Now what the Auto Trace function does is it allows you to bring in a raster image into SolidWorks and then it will convert that raster image into a vector image and from that vector image sketch entities will be created and then you can have a sketch of that raster image that you can manipulate just like any other sketch. This is great if someone gives you a picture of something and says can you create this? Well it gives you a place to start. So first where we find the auto trace function is we need to go into add-ins and right here you see auto trace. You need to make sure that there's a check mark in that box and actually you can take a look it says raster to vector conversion of sketch picture. And if you'd like to have the auto trace function available on startup you can put a check in that box as well and click OK. So once we have the auto trace available we can bring in that picture like we normally would by opening up a sketch. Let's go ahead and open it on the front plane and then under tools sketch tools we have sketch picture and that brings up a dialog box that allows us to navigate to the picture and here we have this little picture of Texas that I found on the internet so now we need to convert this raster image into a vector image but first before we do that we have a few properties here that we can change we can move it along the x-axis or the y-axis we can also move the picture on, on an angle and we can scale it up or scale it down and if we unclick this lock aspect ratio, then we can scale it and it will stretch. But we do want that clicked. Not that we're going to mess with any of these settings, but uh, I just wanted to point them out what they are. We can also flip the photo and we can flip it vertically as well. Next, we can also mess with the transparency. Right now we have none, or we can select a file that we want that transparency linked to, or we can use this slider here to manipulate the transparency of this image here. I'm just gonna bump it down to zero can also be user defined which allows you to select a transparency or a color using the eyedropper and then you can match that tolerance and the transparency based on the selection that you've made. But like I said we're not going to change any of this we're just going to move on to next see this little blue button up top that'll take you to the sketch picture property manager and this has our trace settings. The message that we get select the image type and use the tools to select the portions to extract select apply to convert the selections to sketch geometry. Basically what that's saying is that we have three selection tools that we can take selections of this photo and convert into sketch entities. We also have this eyedropper here which allows you to create sketch entities based on a single color of that picture. But let's run through these real quick. Here we just have a regular box select and we can select any portion of this photo and begin the trace. And that trace is going to take this portion of the photo and turn those into sketch entities. If we were to hit apply, then those sketch entities would be there as well as any other sketch entities that we apply while the sketch picture property manager is still open. So we're not going to hit apply. We're just going to keep cruising through these and check them out. You can see that we have the lasso and you may be familiar with this tool from uh, Adobe applications like Photoshop, but it's basically a freehand selection tool that allows you to lasso whatever part of this picture that you want. And when we hit begin trace, it will snap to the lines that it finds. Finally, we do have the polygon selection tool and the polygon selection tool just allows you to draw straight lines and you connect those lines just by clicking. Let's say we want that much, we can begin the trace and that would be the sketch that is derived from this selection. However, with this specific picture and pictures like this, it's very simple just to use the uh, color selection tool. And since the whole state of Texas is green, if we just select anywhere in there and begin the trace, it will automatically outline everything that we want in this picture. Uh, we can also manipulate these sliders here and by changing the brightness you can see that some of the lines change and that's because SolidWorks is trying its best to grab any vector in this photo that it can and that's going to change with any change in the picture including brightness, including contrast. You can see that the, the line is really changing when we mess with the contrast and the color tolerance and finally the recognition tolerance. The higher it goes the straighter the lines get. So chances are for something like this with a lot of curves, you're going to want a low recognition tolerance. So let's go ahead and hit apply and then accept that sketch picture. And once we suppress the original picture, you'll be able to see our sketch. Looks like it missed a little bit here. So we can always edit that sketch and just draw a connecting line down and close enough. So once we accept that and exit the sketch, what can we do with this now? Well, let me unsuppress this mug that I've created and you can see we have 
sketch number three, which is the sketch of Texas. And we also have our mug here. We can wrap this image right onto the face of the mug. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move it down just a little bit and move it over right about there. And you can see we have the sketch hovering in front of the mug. Now, if we just go to features, we can grab wrap and we'll select the sketch and we'll put it right on this face. And let's just deboss it, digging into the cup. And there we go. We have Texas right on our mug. Let's unsuppress these other features so we can see them. And the shell interior. And then we can also change the appearance. Let's go ahead and make that color. How about a nice red? There we go. And we have a nice mug with Texas debossed into it by two millimeters and colored red. The perfect gift for any Texan on your Christmas list. So that's the auto trace function. It's a great way to add any graphics or any kind of decorations to your parts. So I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time.